the Suzuki Alto is the cheapest car on the market. It kicks off at just under 12 grand. You can own one for about the same price as dining at McDonald's every day. Although, if you do that, there's no guarantee you'll still be fitting into your Alto when the lease is up. Joining me in the studio, someone who's familiar with both the Alto and the Happy Meal, car advice road tester Paul Marrick. We've never actually compared a car and fast food before, Paul, but um, do, you do you get the fries and the toy when you buy the Alto? Absolutely. While it's you know, the cheapest car in Australia. It doesn't mean you get uh, skimped on in terms of features and uh, value for money. I guess, I guess we've got to say inexpensive then, not cheap, right? Absolutely. You get full iPod integration across the range. The entry level comes with six airbags, so it's great for safety. And if you go for the top spec model for just $700 more, you even get stability control. So it's a really safe proposition if you've got a young kid in your family who's learning to drive or a second car for your family, just a bit of a run around hack. You're going to be safe and well equipped. Absolutely. It's a one litre engine, so you won't expect you know, massive performance out of it. But on that same token, it's more than capable for getting around the city, doing the shopping and even carting people around if you have to. OK. How do three-cylinder cars drive? Well, look, you do lack on a bit of power. If you get to, get to a hill, it's certainly a bit of a struggle to make it up. But on that same token, it's still more than enough for what it is. I guess the only downside to the three-cylinder arrangement is it idles like a V8 supercar, which is probably not something you'd want from... What about the kilowatts? <laughs> exactly right. So what's it like to drive? I mean, we've talked about going up a hill, but what's it like to just sit behind the wheel and steer? Is it comfortable? Does it do what you tell it to, or is it, has it got poor manners? It's surprisingly refined. It's, it's great to drive. The steering's great. The brakes are great. And look, it's, it's perfect for, for what you're paying for it. OK. But how many bums can you get on the seats? Well, so you can fit five. I wouldn't probably recommend five for a long journey. But Not five McDonald's eaters, that's for sure. <laughs> exactly. So, but look, you can fit five if you have to, but four is, is relatively comfortable. And I guess outstanding fuel efficiency? Absolutely. I mean, you can expect four litres per 100 k's in this car, which is really staggering for, for you know, a city runabout. You'll barely ever have to put fuel in it. What is the downside? What don't you get? Obviously, space is the first thing you don't get. How's the luggage carrying capacity? Look, it's not fantastic, but on that same token, you're not going to use it to go to the airport. You'll probably only use it for shopping, and if you run out of space in the boot, you can always pop stuff in the back seats anyway. The seats fold flat? Yeah, they do, so you've got extra room there as well. If you... Does the Alto actually have any competitors in the market? Look, other cars in that segment include the Barina, Mazda 2, and probably in terms of price comparison, the uh, Proton S16. So that's only uh, $200 more. So there's a direct competitor on price in the Proton, and you really are stepping up in dollars, and it's a very price-sensitive segment. To get a Mazda 2, you're talking about thousands of dollars more, aren't you? Absolutely. So it probably isn't in the, in the scheme of reality for, for people who are looking for a Suzuki Alto, but there's plenty of options out there. At that price point, you'd have to consider a good second-hand car as well, wouldn't you? That's right, and I think that's, that's definitely something people have to consider. Uh, but on that same token, I think Suzuki has a great product there, so I'd have no qualms in, in buying it brand new. You get the new car feel and all that sort of stuff, but look, if you want to save a bit of uh, money or go with another mark, you can definitely go second-hand. Can't beat that new car smell after all, but what, uh, what about the interior fit and finish? Because there has to be a trade-off with... $12,000, doesn't there? And what are you trading off? What's the interior like? Surprisingly, it's pretty good. I'd, I'd rate it on par with the Mazda 2. The entry-level car doesn't get a taco, so I guess if, if you're obsessed with that, that's probably something you're missing out on. Uh, but I think the interior is really, really well built and, and the fit and finish is fantastic. Who's going to buy it? Who's the Alto really going to suit and who's going to hate it? Look, it's definitely going towards young people. It's, it's built for, for price and you get plenty of features. So it's for somebody who wants a new car but really doesn't want to shell out all the money, that uh, all the costs associated with a brand new car. Now let's face it, it's pretty small and if you're in traffic around trucks and semi-trailers and stuff like that, are you going to feel uncomfortable in something that small? Yeah, it is a little bit intimidating when you're surrounded by uh, much bigger cars, especially four-wheel drives. But look, you'll get that with any car that's, that's that size anyway. I just wonder if the full suite of airbags and the $700 stability control can compensate for hitting a, even a Land Cruiser. You know, you ha there has to be a size trade-off there, surely. That's a good question, and I think you'd be right. If you were to get collected by something much bigger, you could have all the airbags in the world and it would still hurt quite a fair bit. <laughs> the Alto might just be another airbag for the Land Cruiser. What do you reckon? <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> Thanks very much, Paul. Size isn't everything, clearly. To read the full Alto review, download the specifications or add your comments, even get a quote from a Suzuki dealer, just follow the links on this page.